Good morning, Termina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In today's video, we will see the domain and range of a composite function. This is video number five. Um, the earlier four videos are on these topics. As you know, these videos are on the function topic, which is a part of the syllabus of A level mathematics. So I'll put the link of these videos in the description. Further, it will be on my blog address and website address, so you can visit to watch those videos. So let's start with domain and range of a composite function. So first of all, we need to look at the notation of it, how it is written. So f of g of x, sometime it is written with a small circle in between them, f of g. Right. So initially, I will not focus on the definition. After explaining the meaning of it with the help of two or three examples, then I will come back to this definition, right? So right now, just you need to understand that composite function is when one function is substituted into another function. This is called first function, and this is called a second function, right? So let's see the application of it with the help of example, and then we'll come back to the definition so this question is saying for the following function state a reason why g of f composition does not exist okay so generally the understanding is that composition of a function means just substitute one function into other that is an expression but either that expression is existing or not that we have to define uh, decide seeing the domains given for each function Achha, by the way, I have already made one video on it. The link is given below in which I'm working on. I worked on natural domain. Here the domain is given to you, but each function has its natural domain and range also. So if you are interested to see that video, please see the description. You will find the link there. So let's see why G of F is not existing here. Now G of F, so this function F, will go in function g in this place, right? This is called expression I'm trying to build up. So this is the expression I will get here. OK, so now if I look at this uh, function, this is this seems like a composite function. Now we know that in composite function, the range of first function becomes the domain of the second function. So my function f, if I see for x greater than equals to 1, what are the outputs for it? So you can get it from substitution, the value, or you can get it through diagram also, rough idea, very clearly. So if you take x greater than equals to 1, this is the equation of line you will have. And the values of y on it are greater than or equals to 4. So the range for function f is greater than or equals to 4, and this will become the domain of g. So let's see g. But function g is defined for x less than 3. And here I'm saying it should be greater than or equal to 4. So there is no match. It's no overlapping. It's not, this thing is not lying inside the domain given. So that's why the composition of the function is not possible in this case. Okay. So very easy, very simple. You will get the output or the range of the first function. And you will check either that exists in the given domain of the second function or not. If it doesn't, the function does not exist. OK, so let's see second example. In this question, it is given to you that f of g is existing. So first of all, you will find its expression. And after that, you will find its domain and range. So finding expression is not a difficult task at all. You will just substitute this function g here and get another function. So this is what I'm going to do here. 2 plus 3x, I will plug in here. So this is the expression I'm getting. Now I have to find out its domain and range, right, under the given conditions. So function g is my first function. Let me see when I take x greater than or equals to 0, what is my output, OK? So when I take x greater than or equals to 0, the values of g, I will get more than 2. So this will give me the 
range for function g. And range for function d, g will become the domain for f. So now if I see a greater than or equal to 2, is it lying? Are, I mean, is it lying in the domain of f given to me in the question? It is saying for x belongs to real number. So yes, it is. It means the range of the first function is lying in the given domain of function f. You are trying to figure out what? f of g domain and range. So now to find out the range for this function, I will substitute these values. Okay, This is my quadratic function. So at a glance, I can recall this sketch and I will see that if I take the values of x greater than 2, this will be the part of the curve and the corresponding values of y will be more than 9. That's why for f of g function, the range will be greater than or equals to 9 and my domain will be what? Now don't make mistake of writing this greater than or equals to 2. The range will be your, I mean domain will be your x greater than or equals to 0 which is the in this case the domain of of first function sometime it is same sometime it is lying within it right so right now it is the same because it is giving me the output for input uh, for first function which is lying inside it we will see the cases where it differs so later on so this is a simple case right now so my domain and range of the composite function will be 0 and 9 respectively. OK, let's see another example. And it is uh, from the same question. So we will look at f of g. OK, so now I will look at the range and domain of f of g. So first of all, let's get the expression as the requirement of the question is. So this function g will go here in function f, right? This is my first function, and this is my second function. So I'm just plugging in the values, and I got this function. Now I have to find the domain and range of it. So we'll do the same technique. For function f of g, I will see what is the output of it, what is the range of it for this domain, OK? So first of all, let's check. So this is my function g. And I will substitute this domain in it to get the range. You can take the help of a sketch for that, or you can do it mentally. Choice is yours, or ju just simply by plugging in if you're good at it, right? So for x less than or equals to 2, it means I'm talking about this part of the curve and the values of y will be greater than 1. So now this will become the domain for function f. So let me see what was the domain of function f given to me in the question. Does it fall in that um, domain or not? OK, so it is saying x great, uh, belongs to real number. So it's perfectly fine. So the domain for function f is now greater than 1. OK, and when I plug in that in function f, let me see what will be my output. Again, you can do it with the help of a sketch or you can do it mentally. So if I put here x1, x2, x3, x4, so what will be the value? See here, I have made a sketch also. You can do it through calculation also. So when I substitute x1, the answer is minus 4. If I put x2, the answer will be minus 3. So all the values for x greater than 1 will give me values of y greater than minus 4. So this will be my range for the composite function. And definitely, the domain will be what was initially here, x less than 2 for this function. Because it was giving you the output of g, which is lying inside the given domain. So I hope you understood that how I'm taking domain and range of a composite function. So now let's go through the definition which I was saying earlier. 
Now, if you see it is saying when two functions combine in a way that the output of one function, so output of the first function become the input of the second function, then the composite function is possible. And if you look at this definition, the domain of the composite function is the set of all values which are the domain of G or maybe um, or maybe part of it. And second point, G of X is in the domain of F. So we have seen in the previous two videos, okay, when we got the output of G, it was within the domain of F in both the examples we have seen that. So if you want to learn the definition wise, so you can say okay, all pairs of functions cannot be composed. And we have seen the case here also. And it is possible maybe for certain values. Second thing is the domain of a composite function will either be the domain of the first function or it will lie inside it. Similarly, the range of a composite function is either the same as the range of the second function or lies inside it. So we have seen these things with the help of the given example. Now in the next videos, I will take four or five questions. I mean, videos will be separate on each question because questions are long. So I have taken few questions from past paper, which are challenging as well, to make you understand domain and range of the composite function. And I will put the link in the description. So thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe and like it and share it with your friends. Thank you.